It's 5.30 on a Thursday morning and conservation dogs Flint and Kofi are out for their morning run at Paraparaumu Beach with their handler Richard, ahead of a busy day of work. Good boy. Flint here, he's my little Jack Russell Foxy Cross. He's about three years old now. Originally comes from the pound, but now he's a highly trained <laughs> yeah. rodent detection dog. And this is Corfi. She's a Parsons Terrier, Border Terrier, German Hunting Terrier cross. She's about two now. She was purpose bred for the job. Her mum's a feral cat dog and her dad's a wallaby dog. And all six of her sisters, uh, they're all pest detection dogs as well. She is my muscular detection dog, so that's states ferrets and weasels. So I get it up around five um, to start running all the dogs. I run them for about an hour in the morning. These two little terrier mixes have a lot of energy and I need to burn off as much energy as I can from them just so throughout the day they um, can be a bit calmer and a bit more focused. <laughs> Good boy. This guy here is Cootie, one of my other dogs. Uh, he doesn't work for the Department of Conservation like the other two do, but he's uh, still a good mate. He gets a bit of a hard time from the other two though, because he is the lowest rank in the pack. At home, these guys are my pets, but when I'm off to work, Flint and Corfi are workmates to me. I wouldn't be able to do my job without them. Come on guys, let's go to work. Okay. The first job of the day is for Flint. He has to carry out a biosecurity check of a boat heading to pest-free Kapiti Island, while Kofi gets to rest in the ventilated truck. Flint's here on the boat this morning to detect any rodents that might have got on board overnight. Good job, Flint. The boat looks clear and ready for passengers, but our next job is now down in Wellington. Come on, mate. As you can see, I've got their green jackets on. This is for advocacy work, such as the school visit we're about to do. Corfi is extra keen, because she uh, can't wait to get in there for all the pets. We're meeting a group of learners here at Seatoon School today. They've been part of the Mountain to Sea program, and today is their community action day. So my name's Richard. We work for the Department of Conservation, and these are my two pest detection dogs. So Flint here, he finds rats and mice, and Corfi here, she finds stoats, ferrets, and weasels. The group of C2 learners are keen to show Richard some of their own pest control work, so Flint gets his uniform on because he'll be working amongst protected species such as little blue penguins. Part of what I'm here today doing is speaking about uh, responsible dog ownership because we're lucky enough here on the south coast to be able to have little blue penguins and we just want to make sure all the dog owners know to keep their dogs in sight and on lead. It's been an action-packed morning, but there's no rest for this hard-working team. It's not even midday, and the next stop is Te Kopaho Reserve, also known as Red Rocks. Part of Corfi's training is getting her used to many different situations. So taking her to airports and on boat rides, and today we're going to be going over some rocks on the coast and through some thick scrub. Unfortunately, Red Rocks is a known area for rodents and mustelids, but this can offer some interesting pest detection training for Corfi and Flint. Just saw a, uh, a little flash of a bit of red and black dart across the, the road not far in front of us, which could be a few things, but it also could be a mustelid, maybe a stoat. So we might get Corfi out of the back and see what she finds. Come, come here. While she's hunting, I can't give her any cues. If I get excited that I think I saw something and she sees that, she might get excited and it might be the wrong thing. So when she starts to show real interest, that's when I back right off and she's got to tell me completely. Corpo's indication is she'll start to focus in on one spot. She'll start to dig and she'll start to bark and tail will be wagging, letting me know something's there. Right. <laughs> okay. right. So the next steps now from Corfi's indication would be to GPS the area, so mark the area. We know the site is where mustelid has been hanging out, so we can use the right lures that are going to attract the mustelid and to use the correct traps so that we can capture the mustelid. There is one last important stop to make. Zealandia is a pretty special place and is home to some of New Zealand's rarest native species. Come on, Daniel. 
Zealandia is the world's first fully fenced urban eco sanctuary, and its vision is to restore this valley to the way it was before the arrival of humans. Porphy's here to search out for her target species, mustelids, where she's really hoping she'll find something, and everyone else is hoping that we find nothing. Oh, there's a two up in the Nio tree, and there's a few more flying over the valley. I feel so lucky to be able to do this job, getting to work with the dogs, meeting school kids one day out on an island all on my own the next. It's so much fun, it's what I get to do during the week for work, but also what I choose to do after work and on the weekends. Being able to help out Aotearoa in this way is such a good feeling for me. They get real good at holding on, eh? <laughs>